And gel diaphragmatic hernia can be stratified into high risk and low risk. If we can identify the high risk um, types of diaphragmatic hernia, then we can open up possibilities to improve the outcome of that baby, should that mother desire that. Um, so the treatments can range everywhere from just a coordinated delivery where we have the surgeons there and everybody's there um, to having ECMO, which is a heart-lung bypass so the baby can get oxygen when it's born because the lungs don't work very well so it needs oxygen so we can have a machine to give it oxygen. We can have that in the room. Occasionally we will set the baby up to be delivered by exit so we'll keep the baby on mom's placenta while it's still in the uterus it's getting oxygen from mom, then we'll put the baby on the ECMO machine, which provides the, the heart-lung bypass to give the baby oxygen, and then we cut the cord so the baby never has a period of time without oxygen. Um, there are other treatments uh, that are out there circling, um, which can be done earlier in gestation, mid-gestation. We can um, block the airway so that we can hopefully make the lungs grow, and there's a trial uh, right now to see if that works. Um, one of our researchers, Dario Fauza, has a very innovative technique to do that um, rather than with uh, balloons but actually doing it with just a needle. So we're quite excited about that technology that's developing as well.